All right, howdy everybody, round one, look at Hex. Uh, doing a Hex DCG and a low draft, live commentary. Running a spider deck. Oh, my sleeve didn't save. Bugger. Oh well. Uh, probably better to go on the pool. Uh, spider is probably better on the draw, but I have some proactive cards, so. Not too scared. Like I said, we have the rune end out. Better on the play. Reprocessor. Gives us some options. Maybe making this 3 3 after it shifts. Whatever. You know what I mean. Mold the 6. Pretty good. Kind of like the uh, hit. It's champion ability on curve. But yeah, this probably the token flyer deck. But it's kind of the enemy with spiders. It's really quick. I don't know how many trades we're going to be able to force, though. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully, it doesn't get rock casted. We're in pretty good shape if we can get a resource. At least we have something to play, right? Definitely killing us if we can. Pretty much the best start to spiders you can have. Yeah, get some eggs. Play every processor. <laughs> we have the other option of turning this into a 3 3 if somehow this gets blocked. Alright, yeah, that's a good card. He's doing the shift without the Bobo. It's kind of interesting. There we go, right on time. So we're kind of racing too. And we have a 3 3 like linker. Or uh, lethal, in other words. Alright, get some more eggs. And go you. And go you. Maybe we'll get some spiders, who knows? Nope. Alright. So he's gonna attack, no big deal. All in on that troop. I like it. I like it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. We're pretty de, de incentivized to block anything. So, evasion here is pretty sweet. We may just end up winning in there. Uh, decline. As soon as we get resources. We're kind of missing a charge off every other turn. But our curve is actually surprisingly low well for spiders. I gotta do something with my dog when I record. This is like turning into a thing. Anyway, we're winning the race. You can get some life wolf frustrating. We're still winning the race though. I'd like to paraphage it as soon as possible. Life linker. Oh my god. The gall of this guy. So that's what we're talking about. All in. And probably be able to punish that, would be my guess. Just not. So it definitely does change the game. I don't want to reprocess or anything quite yet. We need a resource. No, I said no. no. Vampire kiss. That would have been great. Um, last turn. We're still ahead on the race somehow. We can't play you, so you don't really help right now. We'll kill that. Keep the eggs going. You have a trick. You wonder if it's worth it to save your one one. Well, it's worth it to me to swing for five. But I'm kind of getting in dangerous territory, but I can't cast anything else. Well, 
Yeah, I guess what he's wondering is he should he save his trick for when I do triple walk this. And that's not my plan. My plan is basically to hopefully get the pair of Teji. So I'm almost certain he has a trick, right? I need some eggs. All in, life link and the sack. Again. Can I play this? It just has switch egg. Okay. I'd say just. That would have been a great target for a uh, <laughs> kiss. We're getting out of class pretty quick here. I mean, we're totally beating this deck for life link. And missing our shard drops is uh, problematic. Alright, so we changed strategies, I guess. We're not going to win in here. Why did I decline? I did not mean to decline there. That was a mistake. So we can swing for 8. Um. <laughs> Okay, so we swing for 5, he goes back to 21, then we swing for 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so we're never going to win that way. We're one away from probably being able to stabilize. One resource I mean, so we need to kill this, obviously. Probably need to... We can't. Pretty frustrating. If we had an extra resource, we could, like, shift. I meant to reprocess one of these so we'd have two three threes to kill something next turn. And get some value out of this guy before he dies, because we're probably going to have to jump with him. I think he has a trick too. Because he took so long wondering that, like when I when that 1 1 token was worth it. He probably figured he was going to 1 up with my Linker and Switch Track. I couldn't do anything about it. I can't triple lock because I'm almost certain he has a trick. So I guess we'll set up the next turn play. And what exactly are we doing next turn? Jumping and taking three? Yes. We didn't have to cast him before combat, but No surprises there. Like I said, he, having that much life like every turn just destroys the race map. Probably want to save his trick. Now, does he have. Is there anything that gives something hexproof? Because that's what he's representing, but I don't think that exists. Okay. So he might have stabilized. Gotta be a little careful here. Am I double blocking? Unfortunately, yes. I think I'm gonna be forced to double block. I might have stabilized. We'll see what his follow up play is. He just did nothing with turn with three cards in hand. I think he's got tricks. It's kind of my guess, which makes a double block like feel really bad right now. We can deal with a token all day. Cool. Can't get back. Can't get switch strike again out of the graveyard. 
Why does this get so big? Wait, 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 wait. What the fuck? Why is this a 4 4? Oh, because he gets back whatever it's. Okay, so it keeps some. It keeps that base stats. That's disgusting. Well, that is disgusting. He's still going all in. Why, dude? This guy, man. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I mean, it's not really fine, but let's leave it up the way, Plank. Um, yeah, this is kind of a deck we didn't want to play. Can't take six. He hasn't gotten a single spider. He's only got like 20 in his deck. And how do we deal? We deal with the 4 4. Still can't deal with the 6 5. Kind of frustrating. Kind of tempted to take six just because I don't really have any good blocks right now. Well, there's too many things we can run with. This guy freaking makes another token. Uh, I hate this deck. There's another trick. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take six. We can't trade a flyer. We can't trade him. He's gonna be able to like make stuff. That's right. You can only do six. We do tap out. Okay. Thank you. So we shift. So this would be two. Problem is we just can't. Yeah, so let's switch our That's what we can't deal with. This is kind of the shenanigans we can deal with. So we played two of those guys. Abominate. Didn't work. We have our own abominates. We really need to trigger some eggs here. I think Lightning Brave covers our bases more. We go six, five. Then we need to do five points of damage left. Jeez, man. So I guess we're jumping. That's pretty sad. Maybe you can like ambush him somehow. Maybe it's a phantom there. So we gotta keep our base of flyers open. So there's a couple more phantoms coming down the pipe. So we can't really chump. Oh yeah, there's a chump blocker. Hopefully one of many to come. I know he wants an attack, but yeah, no big deal. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter.
<laughs> I mean, I would like to put my eggs in his deck. So if he does find a way to sack this down, we're going to have to discard another Rune Infiltrator, or we wait. This guy puts six eggs in his deck. We've got Chumpers for days. Uh, we could also make this fly. Maybe I do trade off the land, because making this fly seems pretty good. We'll solve a lot of problems. But getting six eggs is kind of how we're going to win this game. Kind of maybe. Yeah, maybe we don't get a rune end. I don't think rune end's going to get through. Anyway, this puts a lot of eggs in this deck. And we can make that fly. We do have to block it, that's true. And by what I'm talking about, it's a 1-1. One -one. <laughs> because we're at 1. Kind of crazy. Egg. Egg. Still some one egg. There's an unblockable trick. That would be a good one. So regardless of him having a six foot, he's playing three of these? Wow. I've never seen something so all in. Never. I've never seen it. Maybe that's the key to this deck. I don't know. But I mean, this being a 90 or a 20 20 doesn't make a difference. We're at one. We need to start moving around Swiss Fight and put a clock on him. And move around Lethal, in other words. Do we actually have a triple block? Um, yeah, it's not. It's fine. You can kill that. You want to guess. It's not really the, uh, the issue here. Actually, kind of helpful, really. All right. Well, this guy will kind of eventually win us the game. <laughs> our, our triggers are kind of our egg triggering days are a little over. Yeah. So, we're going to give Blight to our death dealer. And swing for three? Yeah. Seems like a fair trade. Ooh, we got it. So now we're set up. It just needs to trigger some eggs and we keep jump blocking this thing and maybe we can win here. That's what we want to do all along. Maybe we can trigger some eggs. Uh, I think half his deck is eggs. Wait. Oh! I messed up. I thought that had. I had a big skull on it. Are you telling me that's not what I mean? It has lifelink for death touch? I am confused. 
to be certain. Why was there a skull there if it didn't have lethal? Okay, maybe it doesn't matter. And that's insane. Somehow he did dodge it. Well, I think that's fine, whatever. I'm kind of shocked. It's definitely like a glitch, right? I mean, there's a skull on there. That means lethal in hex. Maybe we lose now. I don't know. Probably not. All right, it's kind of a wink on. All right, I need you to get some spiders, please. Dodges a lot of spiders. Why would he attack with this? Oh, we got a trick. We got a plan for six. You could triple block. Wait, he has some. You can give it a swift strike. No, he can't. What gives it swift strike? It's an instant speed trick. There's nothing. I don't. What could possibly kill it? Unless he has that card that like nerfs damage. That's fine. We can still block it next turn. Just not profitably. It's a big enough of a threat that I think we definitely want to get rid of it. I guess without a spider we chunk here. Okay, that is lethal, right? God dang it. It's kind of a fucked up combo. It really is. It's a weird thing. Like, being able to maintain its base stats after reversion doesn't really seem fair. It just doesn't. And then him missing spiders is insane. But, we might have lost this game now. Like, he's all in on this combo. It feels very broken. It should lose its base stats. Like, being able to bring back anything back from the graveyard for free. Ugh. So now he's gonna win anyway. That's what this is gonna do. I don't think we have time to play two, three whole games. He's gonna attack with everything. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that we get an egg here. Nope, we miss an egg. Half the deck is eggs we miss. And he misses again. Okay. I'm gonna quit, because I don't have enough time to, even if some miracle happens, like top deck removal, like. Um, that felt very broken. Am I wrong in that? Like, it felt very broken. Like, he was able to bring back three things from the graveyard for free. He was all under the flight plan. They, get, they keep their shift, they keep everything. Like, is that fair? I mean, it died. I get bringing it back. That's one of the things I like about Hex. But once you transform something, it should be transformed into whatever it is the thing. It said to transform it to, or should it be transformed plus the best qualities it had for that? Like, that doesn't, 
Doesn't seem fair. Um, I'm sure it's something Hex R and D talked about and decided. Cool. Well, now we're gonna do this. Make this a thing. Because here's all the answers you could do. This guy is so all in on this card. Like I've never seen. This is good. It's good for me to see this and for you guys to see it because it's pretty clear archetype. And it's pretty pretty focused engine of the archetype. Is it fun to play against? I don't know why I didn't say no. I'm having a bad time. <laughs> I don't want to go home. Alright. Well, let's say we had like kill X ones. We can put that in there, but we need X ones, and that's not really what. Maybe a 4 4 player. Or something that reverts. Uh, you for. <laughs> I'm just going to play 41 cards. I don't have enough time to make a cat. It's fine. 41's okay sometimes. Especially when you're playing 18. So it's like I killed big 4 for a flyer, he just brings it back for free. Doesn't even cost him a card. And he gets a flyer in the exchange on top of that. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Um. I'm going to draw first. Not a very good starting hand unless we get blood. Maybe I just can't touch this deck. I definitely missed a lot of the processors out of you. That's fine, because this guy... He's playing at least three of those tricks. And pretty mean. I'm misplaying my shards. Okay. That just happened. He's gonna play a troop, then give it plus three, plus three next turn, and I'm gonna have to discard a card. Yep. Yeah. I guess he can't. Maybe it's a two drop? No, he's gonna play his troop. He's just Ordering his stuff correctly. That's something I like to see out of an opponent. I have, uh, what's it called? No answer. We do have a giant life linker. So it goes, I guess. Eggs not doing work. So if I were to transform target artifact for a troop into a warbot, would this now be a 3-3 with its ability? No. But it gets its base power and toughness. Which I don't like. That's pretty interesting. So what's happening here? Do I actually have a chance? I'm going to play Lightning Grave. I think it's a quick action to sack. Otherwise, I'd get kind of creative. Your processor doesn't really help me. The lightning ray does. It's like, I could deal with Swiss Wave, and I could maybe deal with Lightning. I couldn't deal with Gopher. Like, you just made a giant thing too soon. Not even any of the there, because I know what his plan is. He's just going to sack this thing off and make this a 5 5. Yeah, maybe he's missing him. I gotta play all my resources, so I'm gonna lose something. That's a little unfortunate that I can't. What is he? I don't know what he's uh, holding up. Maybe, is it? Maybe he's shard screwed? I don't know. What's a more important card right now? Probably just 3 5. Eh, 2 5 with the option to mill, it's a little more proactive. I guess Pride Swallow, I'd rather have that done than this. Uh, it's not really true. This is better in the long term game. Well, now he's got everything he needs, right? So go do your worst. Okay, you're gonna double. So it gets two counters too, is that something? Oh, he's gonna attack for us, I gotta fall for it. That's 
That's cute. Um, I like Casimir's and shipping. Does he have purge? I think he has purge. Wow, that's scary. He's definitely playing like he has purge. Alright, well that changes a lot. So, yeah. I think he has purge. I cannot blame the purge. So what do I do? It's not threatening anything. Yeah, I'm not gonna blame this. Those shenanigans. Interesting. Why would you ship on that? Mill two, right? Ugh. Right now it's three for three if he has courage and I don't I don't want to lose that troop. I need a stabilization plan if he has courage. I'm still I don't need to do anything. This is way too fishy. Target, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's. How did he get that thing in there? Can we sacked it? I discarded it. Oh, he was trying to put stuff in this grave. No. I don't understand. I don't understand. Purge would be pretty good in this deck. I do feel like I need to finish this game though. I mean, if he's, he's kind of overextending himself into his own purge, so maybe I should go out purge. Right here. Not too really. I just want to put more eggs in his deck. There we go. Maybe he's gonna purge now. Definitely made it worth his time. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> All right. Well, we played around a rare that we knew he had, so. I think we're pretty far ahead now.
Mm -hmm. I was gonna try to win on some of them. This one is tough. We <laughs> have vampire kiss. Oh, we have vampire princess. Okay. Well, I've got an answer for that too. Maybe it's still win even if it gets through. Lots more eggs. We purge. What perjury? And I don't want to lose cards. Oh yeah, Herod. Oh, your key card. A little too late. Can you tell I'm quite proud of myself that I played around kind of Purge? I didn't know it was Purge, okay? I played into it because I just, he stopped what I was. He played around it a little too much. I tried to settle it. A little too greedy. And then, uh, that was those five. Do I care? No, I think that's fine. I don't think he can bring Purge back from the graveyard. I don't want to lose two cards. We're giving birds. It's going to be tough to win the second game on time. Especially with this slow ass deck. Cool, we can bring back a vampire princess. I don't understand why this comes back as a 2 3. It should be a 1 1. Okay, why did it the other way? Yeah, okay. Well, if he was playing for time, he should have let me. So I just had another two turns, and uh, they saved me about a minute. That was nice of him. So, Purge is interesting in his deck because by the time he gets to cast it, it's probably has tokens everywhere. Or when it dies, triggers a token. And he has cards that like spring things out of graveyards. So, my deck isn't really going to punish him for. Like, Purge costs 7, so that's really his plan. A lot of decks can just kill him before he even gets to do that. Um, my deck, not really about that. This card's kind of a nightmare. He's kind of calm with me, though. So you can see there, things didn't quite line up for him. His food process is still good. Kind of want the mecha still. My deck's slow. So our, this is Operation Win with a Spider deck before six, six minutes. It's going to be tough. Especially in the... In Against a decent player with a lot of time. Like, that's not. He likes the purge, eh? Ooh, our resources are good. Oh, we got early spiders. Okay. Alright, RNG. We are going to go to. Yeah, alright. What does he play that sack stuff? Oh, all his freaking. Yeah, he's got a lot of stuff. He's got a lot of stuff he can do to respond to a turn two room. Unfortunately, we have a lot of evasion. He's ahead on board. I don't think we're too worried about that. We got pretty stabilizing turn four. Do I take a turn off? And when do I take a turn off? To play psychotic. I don't know. 
I'm gonna say so I care. Get some birdies and all that good stuff. Like, no, we may not. That's right. You can push damage. You're playing stabilizers. No turn three. Everything is going wrong. Alright, so you can set up some pretty nasty combos. Um, hmm. I'm gonna argue. That's pretty sweet. Dare we block? I think we have to block. Wish I could remember whether or not that sack buff card is instant or sorcery. Sorry to use magic to get them. Quick or basic? I do not recall. It's pretty important. My guess is it's basic, because that's when we played it last. Yeah, it is. It's basic. Let's make a big swift striker. Um interesting. Guess we're taking four. He's gonna shift Swift Strike onto it next turn? I don't know. I don't know. I guess it could. Let's make a big threat. And what are our options? I need a big two five. It's kind of ahead on damage, isn't it? I think go here. If I'd go two and three, it would probably be better, but oh, he has a little flyer on him. Unfortunate. It does stabilize. Running out of time. I gotta play the four drop out. That means he has to put Swift Strike on it, and hopefully, we talk back away of dealing with it. Oh, man. I don't think he's blocking here. I could have went there to attack. There. That might have been better. Because we probably want to exhaust this stuff. Yeah, that would have been better. My bad. We have to use our spiders as trump boxes? That doesn't sound fun. Do have another sack? Yeah, he's going to sack again. This is a nightmare. 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 No life link. I think we're okay. I don't know how yet. I think we're okay. Yep. All in. Ooh, look at that. He's going for it. I mean, it's, it's fine strategy, man. I'm not going to lie. So now we have to jump. Take four. There's not a lot of eggs in this deck. Can go him for like a billion. Go him for a billion. Yeah. Unfortunately, we have to shift under here. Cause we can't take four a turn. Oh, it's probably the wrong thing. So I could have shifted onto the this girl. That sucks. That sucks. That sucks. That sucks. Misplays. 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 And then we're going to go here. And then we're going to go here. And then we're going to swing for five. I hope we get an egg. And he doesn't have removal. He's asking for a lot. And he's asking for a lot. But we're milling him for five, so. Chances are good. And we need to push this game along a little bit. Oh, yeah. Activate what ability? Oh, that ability. 
kind of wanted it next turn, but... That should just be fine, because I'm running out of time. Life Pink Swift Strike. I'm just gonna mill you, friend. Attack with everything. I'm gonna mill you. Somehow, some way. You can gain all the life, it's fine. So he's got his recursion spider. Uh thingy. Wait. No. Tapped out. This happened. So confused. Oh my god, I'm running out of time. Okay. So this is two, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Got jump blocker. Not really milling him because he has eggs, right? Except, no. Oh, I'm running out of time. Okay, this sucks. Twenty nine seconds. Holy fuck. I can't win. I can't win. He wins on time. Alright, well this is a good game to show what spiders can do, but I ran out of time. We would have won. I could have thought up of a you know, obviously a scheme to win. Um, but it's not going to happen. Yeah, maybe not, but... Yeah, we could have tapped on the stuff and what have you and whatnot. But we don't have enough time. Good game. Spiders is too slow. Um I think it's fair to assume that we won that. I don't know, I could be wrong. But Yeah, this is what rounds one and two. The dog's barking, so this is one two. Yeah, that's pretty disappointing the loss. I don't really feel like I lost. I feel like I was playing a new strategy with, you know, a strategy I'm still ironing out myself. So I need more time to think and process things. And also, I'm doing commentary, so I'm just going to be a lot slower. I think I'm at a. As far as playing bad, I don't know. My deck wasn't very well equipped, as most decks aren't um, for dealing with that much recursion. Like, you know, you use your removal, you whatever, right? And then they just get it back. And we already talked about how this felt a little broken, the way that Hex deals with transformations. That's the first game I've ever seen it so explosive like that, but I don't know. Maybe this deck goes, doesn't win a game. I don't know, maybe I'm still a little too high on spiders. I like this deck's, this opening hand's plan. You know, mill, 
get spiders out. I don't have any enablers. I have some key cards and my man is perfect, so my resources are perfect, so I'm not I don't really want to mess with it. Planet mold, it's good. At the very least we can use our champion ability. And we're gonna be like the shift madness deck. Hopefully it doesn't have a lot of the flyers or the unblockables. And we need to stabilize. Yada yada. I like it. Let's get them eggs. I gotta remember to play faster, just in case we do lose a, lose a match. We might not have enough time to win a second one. I still think we would have won that first game. Or that game three, if we had more time. The card's good because it's our sift. Only place. The card's good. Play it first. Does anyone have a two drop? You're gonna dump your hand. Tell me what you're working with. Hope so. Hope your hand is full of two drops. Or is that just a do one? There we are. Let's get this party started. Maybe it's going to be good. We'll see. Hopefully, my six job will just stop everything. That would be the dream. Nope. We got a really good card. Won't be able to deal with that for a few turns. We put four spiders in this deck, right? Oh, five. Good. That's a lot of resources. Vampire Kiss. Might want to keep that up. Doesn't matter, we got a quick drink, so. A little flexibility. The, the mill might be a real thing. It's not really mill because it's counterproductive because you're making spiders, but um, it just gets you to those spiders. Fills deck with cards he doesn't want. Ooh, that was another good one. That's probably the best card in this deck, so. So pretty good about that. Leaving up resources, gotta be a little scared, could have that big egg. Yeah, got the weirdest and initial things. Mix eggs, kind of spells, cost four. Um, that's a thing. I wish I could kill it. I don't want to kill it. Um, okay. Well, that's kind of more manageable than Swift Strike. I think. I don't want his team to get buffed, but. I can deal with one threes a lot better. In fact, I may ambush it next turn. It's pretty tempting. When it deals ja it's damage to a champion, right? Yeah, so he forces me into a chump block. That's fine. No, he doesn't. I can ambush it right now. Oh, the value is real. Oh, God. This is so good. I guess that's the one fringe scenario where Lightning Brave just ambushes stuff. Wow. Wow. Oh. I don't think it can have a trick either. I'm not gonna lie, it feels good. It feels real good. Eh, why not? I'm sick of you getting resources. Trade a free card for a. Wow, that was game changing. Oh my gosh. Insult to injury. Wow. What was that kind of setup last game? I'm all five. Get some more eggs in. Well, this is the RNG that I like. So like with all this damage and milling and I think I'm gonna have all spiders next turn. So it's not a spider you can't it's a card you can't play. I wanna reform them round one. This is what my deck wants to be doing.
That's a good finisher. Not gonna lie. Oh, is he gonna give it? Alright, it doesn't matter. That was cross. He should have attacked. Um, he just should have attacked. Do I kill this for the life gain just to make it? No. I don't think that makes sense. I'm not going to have seven resources anytime soon. It does put a little bit of a clock on it, so. That's not bad. Do that pre combat just in case we trigger some uh, eggs. Because we're going to be able to mold for five. Alright, he gets it. Alright. Very fun. Well, I'm going to drive seat the whole time. So obviously your opponent's deck in round two is I'd argue not as good as a round one opponent. A round one opponent had a very focused strategy, which is a very key concept of hex. Some of you might play other TCGs, it's kind of, yeah, you have an archetype, but a lot of times you just kind of have a mid-rangey, you know, troop-based deck, kind of, you know, good stuff dot deck. Well, he had a very clear archetype. His stuff is not very good in the vacuum, but combined together, it was exceptional. And he played well, he played to the archetype, and beat pretty menacing well I wouldn't call my deck menacing but also a focused archetype you know and his ended up proving better a little less RNG than mine um, and I ran out of time but anyway no talking about that game whereas second round opponent a little more kind of good stuff ish kind of a shift theme but well, I guess it's more of an issue. Is it shift dot deck that good? When its key engine is the troops that get plus one, plus one, and something shifted onto it, I'd say it's pretty good, as long as it's a few times. It's kind of slow. It's very RNG as well. But be able to like, revert multiple times. In fact, you should probably replay. Um, Chris, he could revert his troop back to his revert. Does that make sense? I don't know. I, again, I feel comfortable playing 41 cards when playing 18 shards. There's really no reason. It kind of defeats the purpose of playing 18 shards, but... I don't know. Maybe it's a little bit of hubris, because of how game one went. Again, this could be okay. Maybe reprocessor does some work. It's a little bit like last hand. We got the extra card, which we like this time. Resources are really good. Reprocessor. I haven't really found to be that great in this deck. But controlling the board is good. We will get the enablers eventually. I didn't see any removal from him, so my little. Ooh, that card's quite good. So we gotta kill that soon. Because we can easily just win the air with a bunch of stuff. Vampire Kiss would be pretty good. Um, I guess we play out the thing that box. Oh, he doesn't have any spiders in his deck. I'll have three next turn, but. Point to know, that is 10% of the deck. Going in. That turns into like 9% or something. I don't know. It's not that good enough. Yeah, attack it up, friend. Alright. Do I just want to make this a 3 3 and try to win that way? I actually think so. So I don't want to race. I kind of have to race his, his engine. Maybe I should have bought the top there. I don't know. Definitely want to mull. Wait, that's not the right term. Definitely want to mill as many cards as possible out of his deck. 
Ooh, Big Papa. That's a Big Papa card. Uh, this is so tough because this is preventing him from attacking, but. Hmm. So I practice a little patience and do it next turn so I can shift onto that. I don't get to do any damage though next turn. Could stop his stuff. At the very least, that's not a trick. Anyway, I'll wait till next turn. Practice a little bit of patience. No, not yet. Might make an army of three threes. Got pretty lucky with that egg. For the time being, I think three threes are better. Because we're going to start making one ones. Maybe I'm missing something. At least I get to attack, right? Okay, it's going to be pretty huge. I guess I don't want to play right now. Trying to control the ground. Probably has a trick. Yeah, he has to have a trick. Okay, you don't have that statue in there. Even though your skull was there until I clicked on you. That's kind of a glitch. So, we will. Play into the trick at a minimum. I'm going to pass Brave. I'm going to start mailing them. I'd like to put more spiders in his deck. I guess I didn't have a trick. He just played nothing. That doesn't make sense to me. He didn't even activate. What's going on, Lysander? Yeah, it's a card. We have on damage. We have blockers. He's tapped out. Huh. Uh, That's pretty good. Well, this would be a horrible misuse of resources if I didn't cast six when I can play six. Okay. Well, anyway. The structure of our deck. Um, kind of just the development, how it all worked together. It's pretty good against don't look like a strategy that was trying to win on the ground. I think defense was there, and then kind of our incidental Benefits with eggs and all that kind of sealed the deal. So that's eggs working. I think you can see eggs working too in game one. But that was, we're up against a pretty tough deck. So I'm going to be thinking about throwing one quite a bit as time goes on. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. See you in round three.